What's going on YouTube? Welcome to CEO Tech Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing these Tozo T10 wireless earbuds. As you can see, I got the box right here. So first, let me just say that I owned a pair of AirPods. I ended up losing them and I just went a long time without any wireless earbuds because I didn't feel like shelling out the money to buy another set of AirPods especially considering when I might just lose them again. So I finally got to a point where I wanted some, some wireless earbuds again, but I didn't feel like paying the price for the AirPods. So I got on Amazon, looked around, looked at some reviews uh, to check out some more lower, lower priced earbuds that still had good reviews. And I came across these. So these have really good reviews. Paid, I believe 50 bucks for them just got them in um, definitely some positives about them definitely some cons about them um, so i'll be going over that here with you guys in this video so let's get right to it let's, uh, let's go ahead and take these out of the box here show you guys what we got going all right so this is what it looks like when you open the box and first off let me say that the box is pretty good pretty good quality um, definitely feels you know somewhat premium especially for the price point, you know, no complaints there. Um, so you can see it's got some paperwork in there, offers a one year warranty if you'd like to go ahead and sign up and register for that. Um, and then once you lift that up out of the way, you got the rest of the contents here. So it comes with your charging case, obviously the earbuds. Now I've already opened this, so, I, so normally the earbuds are resting right in here in that foam, uh, but I got them in the charging case right now also comes with uh, your cable you know your charging cable uh, comes with a little lanyard if you want to attach it to the charging case um, the charging case is a little bit bigger than you know an airpod charging case um, as you can see there so if you're planning on putting it in your pocket just know it's going to be a little bit bigger um, it's cool that they offer the lanyard because you could you know throw it around your neck or something if you wanted to and then it also comes with some different size earbuds to hopefully uh, help you find the perfect fit um, so let's go ahead and take the charging case out of the box here get that out of the way so as you can see i've got this kind of gray grayish blue uh color here not bad uh not bad at all so in the back is where you will plug in your micro usb to charge them uh, and then go ahead and <clears throat> open the case there so there you can see what it looks like when the earbuds are just resting in there show you that and then obviously you can see that the the lid of the case uh, is see-through so you can see it lighten up and everything so when you close it you can see see the light so when it's red like that you see the solid red that means it's charging um, and then I believe once the red lights go off that means it's done so the case is supposed to be you know fast charging uh, I believe it says 20 minutes of charge will give you an hour of listen time and then on a full charge, I believe it uh, claims three hours of listen time. So um, the box, it, it is magnetic. So, you know, when you open and close it, it snaps right into place. So that's pretty cool. Overall feel, you know, it feels good. It feels good. It doesn't feel cheap, um, you know, so no, no complaints there. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and take these out and give you guys more of a close-up on the actual earbuds all right so you can see it shows you left and right see how long they take to connect here all right so it says they're connected Let's move on to the sound quality of the earbuds. Overall, these sound pretty good. You know, I'm not gonna lie, the sound quality is solid. Um, I feel like the company definitely made a, having good bass, good low end a priority, because you can definitely hear it, uh, especially when you're listening to music. Now, at the same time, I feel like they somewhat lack treble or high end when you're listening to music. But, you know, overall, you can't really complain. At the price point, $50, you have to make some sacrifices somewhere. 
Aside from that, they do have decent noise cancellation once you get them set properly in your ear. Um, they're not, again, not top tier, so it's not like it completely cuts everything out, but it's not bad. They don't distort when you turn the volume all the way up, so that's a huge positive. Um, moving on to call quality. So I did test these out a little bit. Granted, it was in a very quiet environment. Um, you know, I'm just inside my house. I had my wife go upstairs, go into another room, and we just kind of tested them out for a little while to see the overall sound quality. Now, she said she could hear me. Uh, then, you know, there was no complaints with, um, you know, how clear the call was. Um, it wasn't crystal clear, according to her, uh, but um, she could make out what I was saying well enough. Now, I'm sure if I went outside or in a more noisy environment, it would probably, you know, it would probably change. Um, even with the AirPods, when I had those, I always had people saying they couldn't hear what I was saying. Um, now, granted, I had the first generation AirPods, so maybe they've increased in the overall call quality, but you know, I didn't expect much from these considering that they're much cheaper. And with the AirPods, you know, I still had issues. So call quality, I would probably say, you know, it's, it's probably decent, probably not the best, but you know, 50 bucks again, you can't, you can't expect too much. Um, as far as the overall functionality of these, for those of you that are familiar with the AirPods, you know, the whole, you know, touch sensitive uh, controls that they have. These are not touch sensitive. They actually click. Um, so one thing I don't like about these is that feature, um, because in order to, you know, use that, that function, you really have to like press hard to make it click. Um, so in order to not jam it into your ear, when you're trying to do that, you, it's like you have to hold the other side while you do it, um, in order for it to work effectively. So let me I actually just turned it on just now so let me turn that off but um but yeah so that's kind of a, a downside in my opinion um you know with the airpods i could be doing whatever i could have a baby in this arm and i could just boom boom tap it real, real quick to make it come on come off or whatever i needed to do answer a phone call whatever um with these like i said with that click feature it's a lot harder um and if you don't want to be jamming it into your ear you really have to like like i said hold one side and and then press it. Another thing about these, they claim to be waterproof. Now it does say that you're not supposed to submerge them completely in water, so I wouldn't jump or dive into a pool with them. But you know, if you happen to be outside running and it starts raining or you're sweating a lot, um, you shouldn't have any issues with them affecting the earbuds. So overall, I would say that these would be excellent if you're looking for just some budget wireless earbuds. You're not looking for anything top of the line top tier you just want something to get you through get you by whether it's be when you go to the gym um, or you just around the house or whatever um, i would say i would definitely recommend these now uh, if you're a real busybody, you know you're up running around all day every day running errands doing multiple things taking phone calls listening to music you know listening to podcasts you know and you just a, a person that really needs that hands-free wireless experience all day every day i probably wouldn't go with these let me know you guys thoughts in the comments if you own a pair of these um, if you own another comparable set of wireless earbuds that are around the same price point that work work really well for you let me know i might check those out because i'm not sure if i'll be sticking with these um, long term so ceo tech reviews appreciate you guys for watching until next time